we're going to study how to use the schematic, the laptop schematic, to repair the laptops. Okay? So, as you can see here, this is the schematic, this is the DC jack, okay, or the DC power jack. This is the power control circuit, okay, as you can see, this is the DC power jack, the first component. Here, as you can see, the DC jack contains many pins and it is connected to the inductor, as you can see, L1, okay, this is inductor. So this is the inductor, as you can see, and here we have the ceramic capacitor. We have four ceramic capacitors. I will show you in the motherboard the inductor and the ceramic capacitor. So as you can see here, near to the power jack, as you can see, this is the inductor, and here we have the capacitor. So inductor has a reference L, and capacitor have C, as you can see, we have four capacitors and one induction, the same as we have seen in the schematic, okay? So here we have the power rail, as you can see, two pins, and here we have the ground, okay? So all these pins are connected to the ground, as you can see. All these pins are connected to the ground, as you can see. So then the power jack is connected to the inductor, as you can see, and then capacitors, okay? So, four capacitors, here we have the V adapter, okay, about 19 volt, in accordance with the type of the laptop, okay. So then, it will go directly to the first switch, or the first MOSFET, Q1002, okay. So here, as you can see, this is the source, three pins that is connected together, and here we have the drain, four pins connected together. So the drain is connected to the drain of the second MOSFET or the second switch. So as you can see, the first MOSFET and the second MOSFET is Q3 as you can see. Okay? And then we have drain here as you can see. And here we have the cells. So here this is a diode as you can see D1002. Okay? The anode of the diode is connected to the drain and the cathode is connected to the source of the second MOSFET. So after that, the power or the voltage will go directly and we will get here in this point VBAT. This VBAT will be distributed to the whole motherboard. Okay? So I will show you these components in the motherboard. So let's see if you understand this motherboard you can troubleshoot and understand any other motherboard because the laptop motherboard has about 90% the same design and the same working principle. If you understand one motherboard, you can understand any other motherboard, whatever its type or model. So as you can see here, we have the MOSFETs that we have seen in the schematic here, the real MOSFETs, as you can see and their differences we have an diode okay d1002 the same as in the schematic here as you can see we have q3 okay q3 so one must fit in one side and the other in the other side so this is the q3 okay so here we have the power jack so the 19 volt will pass through the inductor and then through this chemical capacitor this is for protection and of course filtering capacitor here pass through the first MOSFET or the first switch we have here the gate as you can see the MOSFET should be enabled as you can see here the enable signal adapter enable okay so the MOSFET should be first enabled in its gate and then it will let the voltage pass through it okay the power will pass through the MOSFET directly to the second MOSFET or to the second switch. So this switch also should receive the control signal in its gate. So it will receive the control signal from the gate. Let's see where the control signal is coming. As you can see from the, the charge IC. This is the charge IC as you can see. The control signal is 
EC drive as you can see to EC drive so the charge IC will generate the control signal to do second switch in order to let the 19 volt pass and then we will get the V part that will be distributed to the whole motherboard here also we have the EC detect as you can see AC detect and AC drive when the charge IC detects the adapter it will then generate the EC drive as you can see the reference is U4 we have BQ the reference for the IC as you can see if you have this failed IC you should replace it with another IC with the same reference okay so let's see here in the motherboard as you can see this is the IC okay so let's see its reference so as you can see we have U4 as you can see okay? U4 so this is the charge IC of course it is next to the power jack okay? usually you can find the charge IC next to the power jack or next to the battery connector okay so this line as you can see this thin line means a high power trace as you can see high power trace okay so the thin line or the big line means a high power line as you can see the 19 volt this line holds the 19 volts okay so this line holds the 19 volt as you can see okay all this line means the 19 volt will be passed through this line as you can see we have 19 volt okay this lines as you can see means control signals this line can be 3 volt 5 volt 2 volt etc okay